Welcome back. Today, I was hanging out with my boy Frozen Fish Stick, and I realized that there's a problem. Not with him specifically, but if we come up here and look at my village, I only have four villagers. Not only that, they're getting kind of boring. Luckily today, I have something very important to share with you guys, and then we're gonna put what I'm sharing to the test. On screen right now is the unofficial villager tier list, courtesy of Reddit, which I'll have linked down below. But if we just look over this and react to it really quickly, you can see that there's different tiers of villagers. So starting out at the bottom, we have Bright Bomber and Cuddle Team Leader. Then we go up to the common rarities, which are also pretty boring. And as you can see, Sky is there. I currently have Sky at my village. And I don't really want a common villager. Oh yeah, look, this guy also just appeared. He's also in the common tier. Basically, the problem that I'm talking about is that a lot of my villagers aren't the best. Don't get me wrong, some of them are. I don't know where Yeti is. He's somewhere over in this village. Oh, there he is. He's chilling at our garden. Oh, now he's chilling on a bench. Look at him. He's so epic. Same with Fistic. These two guys are valid. But the other ones in our village right now aren't. Anyway, let's continue on with this list. You can see Peely's in Uncommon along with a few other ones. I've seen Durburger a few times. I've seen Meowsles. He used to actually live here. Even some of the other Uncommon villagers are pretty cool like these two. Moving up into Rare. Yeti is listed as Rare, which I don't agree with. I think Yeti's technically legendary. A few other interesting ones like that Dinosaur. I have never seen that before. But moving up to the most legendary villagers in all of the game, we've got a few interesting ones and a few that I honestly haven't seen before. First of which is Frozen Peely. Frozen Peely is one that that I really want. Along with that, Crystal is cool. Maisie, I already have. Blackheart and Carl Reef, I've both seen, but I haven't obtained them. And then there's Calamity and Rustler, who I also haven't seen. And before I get any further, comment down below with the rarest villager that you have on this list. Anyway, we're going to be spending the next 100 days inside of LEGO Fortnite searching for these rare villagers. And I've done this before, but this time around, there's an actual strategy that we're going to be using. I'll link this Reddit post down below, but somebody broke down the best way to find all rare villagers in Fortnite. So let's just get up up to the top of my staircase go over to the snow biome because that's where i want to start first and let's just try to actually do this as i talk about it but before we do that let's make sure we have food and i think sky has been cooking for us so let's see if she has anything to provide and she does one pizza Okay, maybe I didn't give her enough time. So without wasting any more time, we're gonna get up to the top of the staircase and get going. As we are embarking on our journey today though, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. But our snow biome is straight ahead and that's where we're gonna start like I already mentioned. But the first thing that I wanted to say regarding finding rare villagers is that it's actually easier to do in the nighttime. If you watch a few of my videos, you'll know that every time it's night, I actually just back out. Cause when you rejoin the lobby, it, uh, it becomes daytime and that's a lot better for content. But today we're taking the torch out of our hand too. So you can can barely even see me and the reason that we're doing that is because part of the guide suggests that if you take the torch out of your hand you can see everything in the nighttime a little bit better which is in fact true and that's important because look at what's straight ahead that's a campfire. They're definitely harder to locate with a torch in your hand, and they're really, really important because that's the only place that villagers will spawn. You know, obviously every now and then a villager will show up to your village, but legendary villagers will not. And with the guide that we're following from Reddit today, like I said, they suggest that you travel in the night without a torch in your hand, and you'll find campfires like this, and that campfires are the only place that these villagers spawn, which I can already confirm off the bat is true. We already know that kind of. Now, it'll be interesting because there's a few tricks that they give you in this and right off the bat okay so this is not one with a villager i thought it was at first but unfortunately it's not we're probably going to be running into a lot of npcs that fight you because these are very common as well i'm just hoping we have luck on our side today and we could find a few rare villagers so we're definitely going to be taking advantage of traveling during the night but like i just mentioned and i think it's important to know that you're not going to find villagers at structures like this that don't have campfires in them so if you're just exploring and you want to hit the chest and things like that go ahead but if you're strictly looking for villagers it's a waste of your time to even show up to those. Now with today's video, I have a goal of finding at least three villagers with one of them being a legendary tiered villager. It'll be interesting to see if that can happen in 100 days. We've already survived half a day and haven't found anything, but yeah, it's not to stress because we have 99 more days. Anyway, as we're continuing our journey, I want to pop up something super useful on the screen here that you guys can go ahead and screenshot or like the video so you can come back for it, but it's going to be where you can find every single one of the villagers in the tier list that I showed earlier. As you can see, Polar Peely and Frozen Fish Stick are in the Frostlands biome, but there are a lot of legendary villagers that aren't at the Frostlands biome. So although the Frostlands biome is the hardest biome in the game, it's not actually where every single rare villager is. And that's good to know, and you guys should expect to see me later in this video go to the Drylands biome because I want to look for the other ones as well. The next tip I could give you for searching for rare villagers is to do exactly what I'm doing right now, which is basically an infinite gliding method. This will save you a ridiculous 
continuous amount of time over the course of your exploration. And luckily doing it is very simple. I'll show you how. So we're currently up on top of a mountain and all you need for this is a pickaxe and a glider. And all you gotta do is jump off, glide, and then swing your pickaxe and just repeat that process. As you can see, if you just tap your glider out and then swing your pickaxe, you save on a ton of your stamina. I've said this before in videos, so I might sound like a broken record if you watch me all the time, but I feel like I have to put everyone onto this because this is a ridiculously overpowered method of travel. And especially when you're hunting for villagers, I think that this is probably the most effective way to do it. One of the best parts about this method is that you can actually combine it with a grapple because anytime you pull out your glider, you can swap between your items. So you can swap to a grapple, grapple a tree, and then continue and do the same process over and over. Even if you touch the ground every once in a while, it doesn't really matter because you can get back up into the air super quickly and just do it over and over again. Yeah, you'll get insanely fast results and you'll travel faster than you really can in any other way. I personally found this method much more reliable than any sort of airplane that you can build in the game. So I'm continuing to use this until something changes. And I definitely suggest that you guys try it too. And look, it's a butterfly. What's this butterfly gonna lead us to? Is it gonna be a llama or a chest? Get your predictions in your head right now. Let's see who's right. I think it's going to be a chest, but who knows? It could be a llama. There are llamas in this game. Lock in your answer because we're getting close. I don't know. What is this? Wait. It led us to a cave. Okay. Well, um, I guess none of us were right. Unless you guessed a cave somehow. Anyway, we somehow strayed very far away from the Frostlands biome. So let's get back over there. Also, if we open our map, most of my Frostlands biome has actually already been explored. And some of you might be thinking, how are you going to find a villager in a place you've already explored? And that brings us right to the next part of this guide. And it's actually perfect timing because I see a campfire ahead of us. Hang on. Let's go check this out. I think it's going to be an enemy campfire, but I guess we'll see. And yeah, only enemies here. If there's ever a goal chest i'm pretty sure that means it's going to be enemies but regardless to the next point of our guide what i was going to say is if it was a villager there and it's not one that we wanted it's okay even though you've already discovered a villager spawn that doesn't mean that it's over if it's a villager you don't want basically if you find a villager in one of these and you don't want it don't worry all you got to do is mark down the coordinates or set down one of these map markers so that you can revisit the camp that the villager spawned at and if you wait about an hour or so and leave the area the villager that spawns there will actually randomize and respawn and this means that you can literally just re-roll villagers all day once you find a spawn point. This is especially useful if there's a spawn point near your main base, which in this case, I'm so far from home, it wouldn't matter. We're just making sure we do most of our searching at night. That way, everything kind of lights up a little bit more. And there's a campfire out in the distance. I believe that that one is actually outside of the Frostlands biome. No, oh, it's a chest. I think that means it's enemies or just actually nobody okay also i've been cutting a lot of this out but i am absolutely grinding for some materials with the help of this brute if you ever need frost pine and you don't have an axe or you're just lazy um this is the way to do it oh wait why are you okay that was weird i hope you guys saw that um okay so we found snowcap snowcap is technically an uncommon villager and the, and the advice says that you're not supposed to speak to them if you don't want them and in this case i don't want this villager no offense the first theory i want to test is that if we get far enough away from this villager I'm down the hill from where the villager is i'm gonna go into this cave and this is not part of the test but i want to see if there's cheese in here oh there's a brute scale nice anyway what i'm gonna do is back out and see if i can speed this process up maybe when i respawn into the world world the villager will be different but who knows we're going back up here and i don't even see a campfire anymore oh it's there let's see if snowcap is there okay it's snowcap which means that didn't work however what we could do is place down a map marker we'll come back in like an hour and see if the villagers change but in the meantime i actually want to explore this cave i really want to find some cheese how about this one another brute scale let's go at least we found one piece anyway back to our search and if you were curious the reason that i always look for cheese is because i'm gonna find every piece of cheese in my world cheese is the best item in the game and it's also very rare so we never eat it we just save it anyway like i said we got snow cap up there which we're gonna return to to test that theory later but for now let's find more villager spawns because i've only found that one and there's a another campfire up there i'm assuming this one's gonna have enemies there's no enemies here but it also doesn't look like there's any villager interesting there's nobody here i see a campfire and a golden chest which means there should be enemies at this one which i am correct about whoa and look at what i just found i found a bunker these are pretty rare i don't think there's anything under them but i'm gonna leave this and i'm also gonna put a map marker on it because why not i came all this way for this though and um again there's no villager here all right and while we're waiting for that villager and the ice biome to reset we're gonna travel a little bit through the desert with this flying method the desert is the best spot to travel because of the fact that there are guys like you just saw.
and it's been about 12 hours since I've last recorded for this video. So now it's time to go visit Snowcap because we've got to test our theory and see if it's true. I already got the stamina bug, so I got to back out. Oh, what is that? Wait, who is that? I don't know who you are. Dana. Oh, we've seen her before. Needed to interrupt the video because I'm just realizing in editing that I accidentally talked to this villager. And that means that no other villager will ever spawn here. I made a mistake. Ow. Okay, wait, we don't want her to die. Again, you don't want to be talking to these villagers if you don't want them. Because apparently that's how you get them to reset. So we'll put a waypoint down and I will revisit. Because unfortunately, I don't want Dana. You know, looking at our tier list, it says she's common. But she's in the snow biome, so hopefully a different one can spawn. We'll leave it alone for now. We got to get back over to Snowcap for the time being. And I honestly have no idea where she was. So I got to kind of look around my map a little bit more and figure it out. It is good that we found another one, though. And there's a campfire straight ahead. Oh my my god is that snow cap again it is wait this isn't even the same one okay we found snow cap again and just to prove it to you guys if we open my map that's where snow cap was and this is where we are so that's a good sign that means we have even more villagers than we once thought i'll leave a marker here and we will come back to that snow cap but you know it took us long enough but we're finally finding some villagers let's get over to snow cap number one though and see what villager is there now it's the moment of truth we're gonna get over this hill and we should see a villager that hopefully isn't snow cap Oh, and it's not. It's Blue Squire. That's, again, another one that I don't think we're going to want. Also, he's somehow just oddly floating there. I hope you guys saw that once again. I don't know. This little structure is cursed, and everyone's just possessed here. But it's a good sign. We have Blue Squire here now. That means that everything we've been talking about is 100% true. Anyway, we don't want Blue Squire, so we're going to keep going. We're finding a lot of villagers, though, which is a good sign. And like I said, there's villagers in other biomes that I want to find. So I'm going to spend about an hour searching those biomes, the grasslands and the drylands. And then we're going to revisit the snow biome. So we we can hopefully get some more rare villagers spawning here. We're all the way back home, believe it or not. We came back to drop all of our stuff off. We also stopped by a few villages, but didn't find anything. And it might have been 100 days already because, dude, I've been playing this game forever, it feels like. But there's a problem. It's that we don't have a single new villager still. And we're going to try to change that right now. And we are back at village number one. Let's see what's here now as we turn the corner. It's freaking Dana. Why, man? Why, why, why? We have arrived back here, and let's see what villager we have. It's Raptor. I sounded excited, but I'm really not. Uh, we don't want him. Dude, there's so many villagers that we're finding, and <laughs> none of them are ones we want to keep, unfortunately. Luckily, there is another villager outpost right here. It's pretty close, so we're going to go stop by that one now. All right, here goes nothing. A random reroll of the villager, and this time we get slush. Not the best. Again, we're not going to talk to either of these villagers. We're going to leave them. It's definitely already been probably close to 100 days though, and we haven't had a single success when it comes to finding villagers. I guess that the only success is the fact that the villagers actually do change. I'm still going to run around the map more, but I am slowly losing hope. Wait, this one is, wait, this is one of the ones I wanted, Lion Brand. If you take a look at the tier list again, you can see that Lion Brand is in the rare category, not legendary. But at the beginning of this video, I said that this was one of the ones I actually wanted. So I'm gonna talk to Lion Brand here. There we go. We got Lion Brand to come explore with us. It's been so long and we finally got a villager. That is unbelievable. Oh my goodness. One thing that I wanna point out is that I am on the exact opposite side of the map for my other villagers. Lion Brand actually also spawns in with a sword, which is kind of crazy because I don't think that every villager does but wow dude i'm so glad i found her all right so lion brand has got to go straight back to one of our villages um i don't think that i can unfortunately that village is glitched and nobody can stay at the top of that mountain so i gotta bring her over to the village right next to it i can put my torch back on for the first time and let's make sure that they have a bed we'll place it right out here for now oh and now we have our first villager wow that took a long time this villager is sick though because she literally is wearing like a knight helmet oh that's dope okay wait what why is Dana right here? I'm so confused. I have no idea what's going on. I don't even have any villagers at this village. Maybe you should just stop by and visit it because, yeah, that's really random. Anyway, if you thought we were done, you were wrong. I think that this is more of a success than it has ever... I think this video can be... I think that we can now consider this video a success, but we still have two... 
we still have two villager spawns that I want to check on again. And even if we don't find a legendary villager there today, we're still going to keep those two spawns. All right. And for the last reroll, wait, what? Is there supposed to be a villager here? I swear that Dana was here earlier, but now there's nobody. Okay. And for what's probably the last reroll of this video, have I seen this one before? What is this? It's Raptor. Well, I am not talking to him. Anyway, since the last cut, I have moved Lion Brand to somewhere brand new. Unfortunately, though, that's not something that I can currently share, but we might have something very exciting happening soon. And just a hint, it might have something to do with this screen right here. I won't say anything for now. Stay tuned to the channel next week for maybe our coolest video yet. But thank you so, so much for watching all the way until the end of this one. I really wish we found a few more villagers, but man, this was a grind and you can't expect every video to go perfectly. But yeah, once again, Thank you so, so much for watching all the way until the end of this one. It's been a book and I'll catch y'all later. Peace. Um, as I was going to make the thumbnail for this video, I came back over here for one last time and I found Frozen Peely. It's actually insane how the timing worked out on this. I'm going to take him back to my base and I'll talk more about this in my next video tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.